love this because it always reminds me of the fourth grade. The nuns would always say, all right, kids, now compare and contrast the gross national product of Venezuela with Bolivia. And remember, it glued the little coffee bean on there and the little piece of tin. I have this vivid memory. So compare and contrast. So off to the left, clinical symptoms. We'll, we'll zoom down and I'll translate. In the middle is vascular dementia. On the far right is our template. Alzheimer's dementia, the most common dementia. So number one, a history of ASCVD, atherosclerotic coronary vascular disease. I can only say that once a day. Yes, patients with vascular dementia typically have a history of long, uncontrolled hypertension or maybe poorly controlled hypertension, diabetes. They've had a heart attack or three. They've had a TIA, a transient ischemic attack, you know, kind of a brief, short-lived stroke, or a CVA, a cerebral vascular accident, and a stroke. And Alzheimer's dementia, it's not impossible, but it's usually very rare. So right away, in the, just in the taking of the history, you kind of get a tip-off. This way, that way, okay? But you want to build your case, all right? What's the onset? Well, you got the picture with Alzheimer's dementia, generally speaking. Alzheimer's dementia is gradual and insidious, kind of like a glacier moving, right? With vascular dementia, it can be gradual, but quite often it can be sudden. Ooh.